Uh, I had seen it a while ago, but I don't. That's one thing I don't care about. As long as we win this game, that's all I really care about. I mean, get out of here with man. That's all that really matters. You know, um, this guy spends an incredible amount of time in the gym, and people see the 30 points, they think, oh, he's Mr. Automatic. But you know the time he puts in, and that's got to be important to how you get the 9 and 9 in the conference. Well, it is, and the other thing it is, it, it's he's trying to pass it on. He's trying to pass it on. And when the kids walk in, the freshmen, they see him. He's always in the gym shooting. He's always in the weight room lifting. He's always in the cold tub taking care of his body. He's always got ice strapped to his knees or whatever other body part needs it. And so that's the thing. And so it's one of those things. He's not there by accident. He's got a gift, absolutely. But just because you have a gift, you still have to work at it. And he does that. Who will be that guy next year? No idea. If Dr. Eaton gets him an extra year of eligibility. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell, as a, as a departing senior, what do you kind of uh, tips, hints, anything for you know, your freshmen or your you know, younger, younger players? Is there any kind of advice you give them? Um, yeah, but it's, our group of freshmen, they work very hard. We have a group of freshmen that really works. So it's, I mean, it's, it's only so much you can tell them because they're already doing it. I mean, the, the, you know, they end up, they're so vocal. They get extra shots up. They work hard in the weight room. So it's like it's only so much the seniors can say to them because they're already doing it in the classroom and on the court. So we got a great group of freshmen and sophomores and juniors. So uh, it's a, I think it's going to be a good group for next year. I can't resist asking you. When you're on like you were on tonight, what's that feel like? Uh, 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 I don't know. Michael, <laughs> I, 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 I'll ask you this too. Michael Jordan always said when he was on, everything was like in slow motion. Does that happen to you? Does it just seem yeah. like it's in slow motion? Yeah, that's, and that's how it is. Uh, you just get a feel. And I told I told Tyler and Todd before the game, I said, I feel, I feel good. I really yeah. feel good. I feel good. And just I make sure Saturday. Yeah, I hope yeah. I feel good too. <laughs> but it, does, it was just a blessing, man, just to get hot like that. So does coming off the bench help that a little bit? You get those that pre, you know, that early game, whatever nervousness out sitting on the bench, and then you get out there. Does that help at all? I'm kind of like one of those people. It don't really matter if, yeah. if I start or if I. I mean, it, it, whatever I can do to help, basically. So, you know, that's how I feel. Some things are out of times about bringing those scores off the bench is that defense has already had to work for three, four minutes, and all of a sudden he comes out there and they're not. When they come right out of the gate, they're geared in to take him off the board immediately. And sometimes we get so bogged down just looking for him early on instead of just, hey, let's have play here a little bit, make sure everybody else is involved. Mm -hmm. So you forced 14 turnovers and only had three yourself. Can you talk about your defense, how they played tonight? I just thought from from top to bottom, from Ethan all the way through, um, we were very very focused, and our, our kids understood what we needed them to do, and they executed well. And one of the little things with inside the game was. He, every time Chad Jackson or, or Shantae on the defensive end, it's, all of them did a fantastic job of understanding what we needed them to do. And whenever the pass early on came out of a guard's hands or whoever's hands headed towards Smith, they did a tremendous job of flashing hard at him and almost having two guys guarding him until he gave it up to give Ethan just enough time, you know, or if he had any, any uh, gaps or any open window at all that we closed it off, not only with Ethan, but that other defender. Um, and I just thought they were they were just completely, completely dialed in defensively for the most part. I, I just felt like our, our kids were one of those nights where they were so focused in on both ends of the floor. And I, I, I know Ashanta had a tremendous night offensively, but you know what, if he doesn't, I still think we're going to win this game because defensively we were, we were locked in. And the job Ethan Faulkner did on, uh, I believe, the leading scorer in the conference, uh, holding him to, I believe, three points or four points. So when Ethan's been gardening, the kid's averaging about 3.5 points a game, and that, that's unbelievable.